Hi, hello everybody. My name is Mariana and welcome to Mission Violin. Today we are going to talk about how to stabilize the holding of the violin. This is a very important topic, especially if you're a beginner, but it might be also helpful for violin teachers. Okay, if you did not subscribe yet to my channel or to my profile in Instagram, please do so you can have more access and content about violin playing. As I said, we are going to talk today about how to stabilize the holding of the violin. So this is not going to be a video on how to learn how to put the violin correctly on our left shoulder. If you still need to learn how to hold it, please check my previous videos about it so then you understand what we are going to talk today. Okay, the first tip that I'm going to talk about comes from the pedagogue Paul Roland. Actually, the tips that I'm going to talk today are actually from him. Now I just remind myself. Um, actually, Paul Roland was a great violinist and also a great violin teacher. So I also recommend if you're interested in his principles to do some Google search about it. Okay, so now if you're already playing for a couple of weeks or months, you should not be at the level of all the time adjusting the violin on your left shoulder. I know by experience that playing violin is not the most comfortable experience, but still we should not be comfortable, sorry, we should already start to feel comfortable and also not all the time to make adjustments. If you still feel that you're not holding correctly and also in a comfortable way, maybe you should just talk to your teacher so he or she can just have a look at your shoulder rest if you're using it correctly or maybe he or she will make some adjustments to the height or the direction of your shoulder rest according also to your shoulders and collarbone. Okay, so the first tip as I said, basically, it's very very simple, you need to put the violin on your left shoulder and take out and then put back again. So this exercise gives us some like a possibility to develop the process of putting the violin a bit a, a bit more automatic so not thinking too much and as i said if you are at the, still at the step of adjusting just talk to your teacher and then you just put back again very very easy just take it out like and then put back again so in this way we get um, the movements and the process a bit more automatic but still we use relaxation in between. That is also important for the holding. And the principle um, behind of Paul Roland's approach to holding the violin, it's basically um, not, it's the position and holding should be firm, but not like using tension, you know? So we want to use the movement to our benefit, but still like not creating too much like pressure and tension yeah and also at the same time Paul Roland thinks that um, we should have the muscles strong so there should be a firm holding but relaxed so it kind of seems a paradox but it's definitely possible so that's why I'm giving these tips today okay um, tip number two you just need to have the violin on your shoulder and then you take your left hand and put on your right shoulder for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And you put back again. And then you repeat. One, two, three, four, five. And you relax. Of course, you will feel some uncomfort on your neck. But when you will play violin, you will not have all the weight like here. Yeah? But it's just for you to develop some stability on your shoulder. So one last time, one, two, three, four, five, and then you relax. Okay, the other tip, three, tip number three, is going to be just, again, taking the hands out, but you're just going to move around, like, there's, no, there's not to be like with synchronized movement, you just need to move your arms. All right, and then you hold back again. Yeah, very, very simple. One last time, hold, and then just move your arms. Okay, 
And tip number four, maybe this one it might be more suitable for violin teachers and especially for um, like little students. Um, and it's called the stab show, also from, from Paul Roland. Basically what you need to ask your students is to um, imitate a statue. So they need to mimic the statue. So I'm actually just doing by like a mirror. So they need to imagine that they are holding the violin, but without violin. And you need to, to ask them to stay still for one minute. I know it's going not to be easy. They always start to complain after 15 seconds, but you still need for them to, to be like stable, not really moving. This will help them to have like strong muscles. And a last tip, uh, uh, still with the same line of the force, just ask your students not to feel that the movement comes from the, from the hand or the wrist, you know? Because actually we should uh, move from this part, even though we might not feel it. But if you do like this, you feel that this muscle moves, you know? And this is a big muscle. I don't know the name in English, in Portuguese it's called omoplata. Um, yeah, so if they feel that the movement comes from here, it will be much easier than to think that, you know, movement comes from here and it needs to support all the weight. From this, it will be much more difficult. So these are my tips for today. I hope you enjoyed. My future video is going to be how to stabilize the holding of the bow. All right, so this was everything for today. Again, I hope you enjoy. Continue to follow me or in YouTube or in Instagram. And if you have questions, just comment below and I will try to help you in the best way I can. That's it for today. Just have a good day and talk to you soon.